properties properties of ratios ratio property just will take one ratio n by d why we have taken n by d that is common uh, common uh, like just notation numerator by denominator then n by d if you are just multiplying with the same number in numerator and denominator ratio will not change if you are dividing by same number ratio will not change this we know now little problem will be there because here multiplication we have done division we have done no change now once we will do the addition and subtraction change will be there it will not same means n by d will never equal to if you are adding n plus x and d plus x what is happening here if we are multiplying then ratio is not changing but if we are adding ratio will change it will never equal n by d will never equal if you are subtracting n minus x and d minus x condition applies numerator should not be equal to denominator if you have taken numerator equal to denominator means 3 by 3 then no nothing will work out then ratio itself will change to integer a particular integer then this concept this properties will not valid but if numerator is not equal to denominator if you are adding the same number to numerator and denominator or you are subtracting the same number to numerator and denominator then ratio will change ratio will not same but just contrasting of that if you are just multiplying with with the same number of numerator and denominator and you are dividing numerator and denominator by same number ratio will always same just will try to look just will go little microscopic view just will uh, increase our resolution of lens what is happening here like here if we'll take the case two cases if ratio is there fraction will be always numerator will be less than denominator means fraction meaning is less than 1 but ratio can be fraction cannot be fraction means ratio can be more than 1 ratio can be less than 1 means every fraction is a ratio but every ratio is not a fraction every fraction that will be less than 1 that of course is a one kind of ratio but every ratio cannot be a fraction because ratio can be more than 1 means anywhere if you are dealing with a ratio always you keep in mind two scenario n is greater than d n is less than d then first case will look n is greater than d n is greater than d if you are adding x here in numerator and denominator or here you are subtracting then sequence means you can say increasing order of writing the ratio will be like this n plus x divided by d plus x will be less than n by d and n by d will be less than n minus divided by d minus x this will be sequence then now how to remember this one and uh, what we can do here to remember one thing we will just look uh, just will uh, check one uh, ratio like 6 by 5 same ramesh by soham salary then just we have subtracted 2 in numerator and denominator 6 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 here this side added this side added this side subtracted then it has become 8 by 7 8 by 7 will be always less than original ratio 6 by 5 and this will be always less than 4 by 3 this is your 1.2 we know it is your 1.33 it will be around uh, 8 by 7 1 by 7 will be extra means it will become 1.14 8 by 7 means 1 plus 1 by 7 1 by 7 will be 14% 1.14 then 1.14 will be less than 1.2 1.2 will be less than 1.33 means if numerator is greater than denominator then this flow will be valid now if numerator is less than denominator then then just reverse will be valid this our common sense we know nobody can stop to think in a very simple way like n minus x will divide by d minus x will be less than original ratio and that will be less than n plus x just we look one example again just will reverse that was ramesh to soham salary now soham to ramesh salary then 5 plus 2 and 5 minus 2 it will become 3 by 4 less than 5 by 6 less than 7 by 8 directly by seeing the number we can say it is 